Probably by now, all of you that have clicked on this video have heard of the new Bloody A70 mouse that just came out, known as the Bloody A Bedless. It is a collaboration with Bloody and the famous YouTuber Bedless Noob. This mouse is also known as the Matte Black Bloody A70 as well. Given all of the hype surrounding this mouse, and that it literally sold out within three hours of Bedless's video coming out. Is this mouse overhyped or is it actually a really good mouse that could possibly be better than the A70 and any previous drag clicking mouse out there at the moment? So in this video, we're gonna answer that very question. We're gonna dive into the different build qualities and intricacies of the bloody A70 matte black and we are going to help you determine if it is worth it spending another additional $40 on a mouse that could or could not be marginally better than a original A70. To start off this video, let's first dive into the physical aspects of the mouse and how it could be better than a A70 original. So. The A70 original mouse, which is the one you're familiar with, with all the lights and all the cracks and all the RGB, that mouse has a semi-glossy texture, which makes it a little bit harder to drag click. That is why a similar mouse to the A70, such as the A60, is so much better at drag clicking. That is because it has a matte surface, not a glossy surface. So since the A60, for example, is more matte than the A70, the A60 is technically easier to drag click than the A70. Therefore, taking this aspect into mind, the A70 matte black, or also known as the Bloody A Bebus, is technically far better for drag clicking than the A70 original because it is a very matte surface. Therefore, making your finger grip the mouse far better than a semi-glossy mouse such as the A70. In addition to that, from Bedless Noob's personal account on his YouTube video, he stated that the engineers at Bloody Company actually designed this mouse to drag click specifically. They engineered the surface and played around with various other textures to make it the most optimal mouse for drag clicking and making it the best for traction with your finger. They wanted to make a mouse that is literally made for drag clicking, which is the one I'm holding right now. And I believe they've literally hired like engineers and stuff like that to look for textures to put on the mouse that makes it easier for drag clicking. This mouse should be the best drag clicking mouse in the world, just for the reason that it was designed for drag clicking specifically. Most mice are not designed for drag clicking because drag clicking is not really a thing that most companies look forward to adding as a feature in the mouse. Literally no mouse in the market right now is advertised as a drag clicking mouse. That is not an actual feature of a mouse. The bloody mouse however is pretty much designed for drag clicking and engineered for that purpose. So it would be one of the first mice in history that is actually designed to do it. For example, check out this clip of Bedless Noob just casually drag clicking 60 CPS with no tape at all on the bloody A70 matte black. He is absolutely insane with it. So as you can see, the mouse can drag click flawlessly without any effort as if there's electrical tape already on it. In addition to that, he can god bridge super consistently short drag and long drag on it. This is a feature that I've never really seen done so well on a mouse before. The A70 is pretty good at drag clicking, yes, but the A70 Black, far better, not even close, because it's almost like this built-in grip tape, that's amazing. So that's one of the key features of the bloody A Bedless. It's, it's incredible surface texture that allows it to drag click flawlessly. If you watched my previous video on drag clicking and how to do it in my tutorial, you learned that dry fingers are optimal for drag clicking while wet fingers are bad. That's because wet fingers slip and dry fingers tracked. So glossy mice, they have a more slippery surface because they're glossy. Matte mice have a more grippy texture. Therefore, the same thing can be applied to the difference between the bloody A70 and the bloody A70 matte black. 
So, the Bloody A70 original is more of a glossy mouse. Therefore, the probability of your finger slipping is more likely. And the Bloody A70 Black, however, has a lower probability of your finger slipping because matte in and of itself is a more texture friction surface. So now, here comes the big question. Should you buy this mouse or not? Well, I have a couple answers to that. My first answer is, if you already have an A70 original mouse, I don't think you should spend another $40 to get a mouse that's slightly better. Because although the A70 Black is, is far better than the A70 original, I don't think it's worth another $40 to get that extra CPS, if you know what I mean. If you have a mouse that you kind of don't like, whether it be a different brand mouse, you don't already have a Bloody A70 or an A60, then I would definitely recommend the Bloody A70 Bedless because that mouse is probably one of the best, if not the best, drag clicking mice in the world at the moment because it's specifically designed to drag click. So if you have the budget as well as the patience to wait probably another couple weeks or maybe a month for Bloody to restock the mouse again, since it's kind of sold out already in two different places, you can wait and buy the mouse when the next restock comes up and I assure you that mouse will be one of the best mice you will ever experience and it will not let you down. There is one last thing I want to clarify before I wrap up this video and that is how you can actually buy this mouse. Well, it's pretty simple. So if you haven't already learned this before, you can buy the mouse through a waitlist. So if you click on the first link in Bloody Gaming's Instagram bio, you are directed to a waitlist. In that waitlist, you fill out your email and the mouse you'd like to purchase. There, once they restock the mouse, they will send you a link, an exclusive shopping link to the email address you provided. There, you can easily buy the mouse. So, what I suspect is this mouse will probably be restocked within a month or so due to such high demand for it. At the moment of its initial release, you could buy this mouse in two places. Either using the affiliate link in Bedless Noob's video description or by just signing up for the standard waitlist. Either way, you're getting the same mouse, but in both places, they are sadly sold out at the moment. So you just have to be patient, sign up for that waitlist, and as soon as you get that link, you gotta buy that mouse immediately because it's probably gonna sell out in another two days due to the hype surrounding. I wish the best of luck to you and I really hope you can get your hands on it because this mouse is really exciting and interesting. Now that we got all that over, I have an important announcement to make. Within a couple of days or a week of this video being published, I will also publish an in-depth review video of the mouse where I personally test the mouse out and give my comments and opinions about it. So if you've already seen my original A70 video, it will be just like that one, but better. I will explain everything, I will show you how to drag luck in it, and I will compare and contrast it between my other mice such as the Bloody A7, the Bloody A70, and the Bloody A60 as well. So to all of you who have made it to the end of this video, I would like to thank you for your time and I would really appreciate it if you could voice in the comments below if you actually found this video helpful or interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.